Levels of taurine have been shown to decline as we age. And a recent study found that taurine can increase lifespan by 10 to 14%. In this video, we're going to go over taurine and the benefits found in a recent 2023 study. So let's get into it now. Taurine has many benefits in the body and those include maintaining proper hydration and electrolyte balance in your cells, forming bile salts, regulating minerals like calcium, supporting the general function of the central nervous system, and regulating immune system health and antioxidant effect. To drive this point home harder, we have this diagram here that we're going to go into great detail for the next four hours. I'm kidding. This one is much simpler, showing anti-inflammatory effects, reducing blood sugar, reducing blood pressure, and by another mechanism blocking vasoconstriction, which will decrease blood pressure as a result. Now, earlier I showed that a decrease in serum taurine levels happen as we age. And this graph right here shows that effect in mice and in homo sapiens, which is also known as humans. So in both species, we can see that taurine levels exponentially decrease as they age. It looks like it happens at pretty much the same pace for both mice and humans. And this 2023 study that we're gonna go over is a mice study. So although it's not a human study, which obviously would be much more beneficial and much better for us to kind of extrapolate the data from, it still can be very, very similar because from this data, we see that both humans and mice reduce taurine levels at a similar pace as we age. Just to look at this graph one more time, obviously mice live much shorter lives than humans, as we can see from the y-axis of both these graphs. The mouse y-axis is in weeks, while the human y-axis is in years. But again, the rate at which taurine levels decrease over time remains pretty consistent for both groups. Taurine levels reach about half at 30 weeks for mice and around age 40 for humans. So around 40 years old could be a good time to start supplementing with taurine because those levels have been drastically reduced since birth. Now in an older video, I went over glutathione levels and why we should supplement with NAC. And I want to bring that up because it's very similar to the taurine graph. Now, as you can see here, oxidative stress levels increase, which is that blue line as we age and glutathione levels decrease as we age. That's why Glynac supplementation is beneficial for those around 40 years old, because there's a steep drop off around that time. As we can see for taurine, the drop off happens at a much younger age. So it's possible that we can supplement with taurine at a much younger age and reap the benefits rather than waiting for you know a midlife crisis or something around 40 years old. I just want to bring that graph up as well to show similarities in glutathione levels decreasing as we age and taurine levels decreasing as we age as well. Now I want to go over this study titled taurine deficiency as a driver of aging. This had 246 total mice in it. Half were given taurine, half were given placebo. The dose was around 500 to 1000 milligrams per kilogram once per day. And that pretty much comes out to about three to six grams per day for a 180 pound human being. Now, as we can see here, they separated the male mice from the female mice. The left side with the pink graph is the females and the more bluish one is the male mice. So pretty much very, very similar results for both groups. We can see a increase of median lifespan by about 12% from the orange line, which is the supplementation of taurine, whereas the blue line is just a placebo. They were not given taurine. So as we can see, taurine did substantially increase lifespan for both both male and female mice. And also we see the same result for both male and female worms, but we don't see this difference in yeast. There was no lifespan extension in yeast, but it did work on male and female mice and worms. Now the other benefits also found here is that the mice that supplemented with taurine had 10% less body fat, which is substantial. We all know that obesity and being overweight have a huge effect on health and all the longevity gurus, no matter who you hear, is always gonna tell you to maintain a healthy body mass index and and a healthy weight. So it's good to see here that taurine can actually restrict weight gain by about 10% by just supplementing with it. Now, something to keep in mind is that weight has a huge effect on health. So all these things that we see from taurine supplementation, all the benefits, is that from the restriction of the weight or is that just because from the taurine supplementation? That is something that we have to dig deeper because we don't really know that from this study. We do know that the mice that supplemented with taurine have less body fat than those that had placebo and they had a lot better overall longevity biomarkers as I'll go over in a little bit right now. But was that a result of taurine supplementation or just because you know they maintained a healthy body weight? That's something we have to investigate further in future studies. Now let's look at the other results. Again, gonadal fat significantly less in the taurine group. Also significant effects in bone volume and bone strength. Also on skeletal strength, neuromuscular condition, grip strength, decreases in anxiety and increases in memory function. Also we see healthier blood sugar levels. Now again, we don't know if this is from the restriction in the weight gain or from taurine supplementation and we have to investigate 
further because weight and strength, right? We saw here that skill to strength, bone volume, and grip strength all increased with taurine supplementation. So all these other benefits that come after it, is that a result because of those other biomarkers or because of taurine supplementation? Now, obviously, if you're not really paying attention to your diet and your exercise goals and taurine supplementation helps you reach those biomarkers, then obviously it's very, very beneficial to supplement with taurine. But for someone that has their diet already in place and someone that has their exercise regimen perfectly scheduled out, or at least is very consistent with the gym in terms of cardio and strength training, does taurine supplementation actually provide additional benefit is something that we'll have to look into further. Now, with that being said, something I wanna throw out, out there is that a lot of athletes supplement with taurine. Now, they have some of the best doctors and trainers and you know nutritionists on board on these you know popular sports teams like the Lakers or the Rams or whoever. And so if all these players who are already in the top you know 0.1% of exercise and physical fitness are supplementing with taurine to gain that extra half percent advantage, that might be beneficial for you know maybe me and you to get an extra 5 10% boost in our exercise performance because you know the studies may show that this has a benefit now something we do know for pretty much a fact when it comes to taurine is that it is very very safe there are almost no side effects almost nothing that has been reported in terms of negative effects with supplementing with taurine now in terms of those safety parameters the upper limit is 10 grams per day so you don't want to pass that if side effects are a concern of yours if you want to supplement you know further and experiment you can go past that most likely it will still be safe but just keep in mind that the 10 grams is the limit that has been studied currently. Now, in terms of dosing, I would supplement with a low dose of taurine, especially for someone my age around in their mid 30s, because the levels have not dropped as significantly yet as someone who's in their 40s, 50s, or 60s. So I would start with a low dose of taurine and then slowly increase the dose as I age. Now, the last thing really quickly I'm gonna go over is foods that contain taurine, and this includes a lot of seafood and fish and also meat, octopus, prawn, shrimp, tuna, beef muscle, beef liver, lamb and pork also have good amounts of taurine. So if you don't want to supplement with taurine, then eating these foods can get you enough taurine. You just have to pay attention to the serving size and how much you're getting and kind of convert that into a dose and see if that's enough for your needs. That's it for this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.